So today I'm going to show you guys, today I'm going to review for you guys the mitt. Today, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Wigging Out with Bobby Z, hosted by me, Bernadette Housedown. Today it's going to be a product review, but this is going to be a different product review than what I've done in the past. So this is an unsponsored review, meaning I bought this with my own hard-earned money from making and selling wigs all around the world as I drop the box on the floor. I'm going to be trying out the makeup eraser and basically it says here on the box remove your makeup with just water. Waterproof mascara removed in seconds, all natural, no chemicals, machine watchable, no stains remain, soft and promotes healthy skin. So from what I understand from other people's reviews of this product is that it is two-sided and it's terry cloth. So you're basically supposed to be able to remove all of your makeup with this, with no chemicals, no soap, nothing. Just this and water. So you guys are probably wondering what this is all about. So tonight I did uh, Sing Queen at Barracuda, hosted by one of my best girlfriends, Suddenly Seymour, and I actually won. So I won, this was week three out of five weeks. I won week three, which means I will be back for week six, which is June 30th. I don't know if this video will be up by then, I'm busy as hell, but if it is before then, come to Barracuda at 11 o'clock on Tuesday, June 30th, and that's at 22nd and 8th Avenue in Manhattan for the finale of Sing Queen. Um, so people are gonna ask, this wig is actually a Sarah in 430 that I custom styled into this like beautiful finger waveness. Um, as you can see here, I am flapping away, about ready to fly away here. Uh, my dress, which you guys can't see right now, and I took my I took my pantyhose and my pads off, so I'm sitting here kind of junk out right now, which is gross. You guys don't want to see that. So I'm gonna put some pictures right here up of what I looked like tonight. I'm also eventually going to be posting videos from tonight. I did get videos of both rounds, so stay tuned for those, and I'm sure when I'll post them, I'll put a little linky thingy doodle here in the video somewhere, and also down in the box. Oh, you guys are probably wondering where the hell I is. This is my bathroom. Um, this is my shower curtain. I got it at TJ Maxx. I'm a Maxinista girl. You know it's right. I'm a Jew, and I like my shoe cheap. This is from pinupgirlclothing.com. My little brooch is from a jewelry store. All my rings and bracelets are from a jewelry store. This is from a hair store here in the city. It's like $5 for a flower. It's pretty cute. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my hair, which basically is already off of my head pretty much entirely. My earring is stuck to it and it has been all night. Let me try to get the spirit gum off my ear real quick. Ow, ow, ow. Maybe I should shave my ears before I do drags. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Glad I didn't use nail glue. Ugh, I hate using nail glue on my earrings. Like, oh, uh, that is, oh, uh, ow, so painful. Ow, uh, uh. Okay, lashes. Bobby pins mirror from the drag con. I stoned it myself. Yes, beautiful, I love it. I need to read the instructions, which there aren't any. Um, I think there were instructions that came with it, um, and I just didn't, I think I threw them away. It actually absorbs a lot of water, so it's hard to get it like wet because it absorbs so much. So let's, so I can actually see what I'm doing before I actually take my contacts out. Let's see. It feels really soft. I really like it. I think this is the the side with the longer loops. Oh wait, no, that is the shorter, the shorter side. Was that I was using? Um, so let's start wiping the boobies away. It's actually like taking off all my makeup. Like I'm actually really shocked. Um, I have a lot of drag friends that have tried this and one of them put on Facebook that it actually took off the glue from their eyebrows, which is what 
I'm very, very interested in seeing because I'm big thick on really crazy brows, and for this to actually take them off would be great. Um, okay, so now that I have some more water in there, let's start at my forehead. Um, and so from what I understand is one side has longer loops and one side has shorter loops. And basically, one side is to like kind of deep clean and one side is to kind of like refine clean. But you guys can see like it's pretty much taking off all of my makeup right now. Um, I'm just going to start rubbing my brows a little bit just to break them down. Um, Okay, get my ears. Get that. Try to see if the spirit gum will come off my ear. No, it doesn't. It stays there. I'll just alcohol them in the morning. If you get spirit gum residue on your skin, either from earrings or from your lace on your wig, alcohol, your best friend. Isopropyl, 91%. It's your best friend, girl. So, wow, it's actually. Even with the cold water, like I usually have to use really hot water to get my brows to release. And this is taking them off like, whoa, yo. So let me try this side. And this is with cold water. Like I had hot water in here at first, but now it's cold just because I don't want to open my shower again because it's gross and you guys will judge me. Um, okay. So now, I'm going to take my contacts out. Sorry if you guys are screaming about people touching their eyes. Just so I can really get in there with my mascara. Um, I don't use crazy high-end makeup on my eyes. I just use like regular cheapy eyeshadows and stuff. And I do use like, uh, I think Maybelline, the green and pink bottle that everyone freaking uses it even says on the bottle like number one selling mascara in the world or whatever that's the mascara that i use and it is waterproof i believe i feel like i want to just get it wet one more time i've seen girls like just wet this once and do their whole face with it but they were real girls that didn't have freaking krylon tv paint stick and eyebrow glue and spirit gum and crazy stuff on their faces so I didn't I kind of watched it but at the same time I was like is this gonna work for me in the drags and from what I can see it's working wow even my clown mouth like I use OCC on my lips almost exclusively now, and I always get clown mouth from it, and I don't have it right now, which is incredible. Like that's, I have a little glue in this brow, I have a little mascara under this eye, right there, and this eye too. I will. That's freaking incredible. Like, I'm mainly impressed by the fact that my clown mouth is gone. Like, I always, and I'm still rubbing just because this actually feels really good. Like, it's really soft, and it has the two sides. So this is the longer side, which I don't know if the longer side is the side for more exfoliating. I think actually it is. It feels a little more rough. Wow. That's insanity, yo. You guys. I took off all my makeup. Like, how long did that take me to get back to a boy? Three minutes? Two minutes? Some kind of nonsense like that? Wow. I do have a little bit of clown mouth on the camera. I can see. Um... But in real life, I really don't. I think that that much is just be if I could talk. It's great. It's also like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm starving. 
I usually use Pond's cold cream and a, and a hot wet towel to get my face off and to get my brows off. And this, like I don't even, I don't feel sticky. I'm definitely gonna give the makeup eraser like a 12 out of 10 because I'm so ridiculously impressed right now because this took off everything. And I do have very sensitive skin. I have acne prone skin. I um, I get breakouts a lot. Uh, I have dry yet oily skin. I don't know how that works. Sir, and look at that. That's my face. That's Bernadette in a towel right there. Like, can you see that? You literally can take your whole face off. Glue too. Like I use glue stick and I use layers and layers of glue stick to get these caterpillars down and it's gone like my my brows are completely like I can go through and I can run my fingers through wow this is great you guys at makeup eraser are freaking amazing you guys are the best I love this thing I first I think the website is something like themakeuperaser.com. I don't remember off the top of my head. I will put it right here. Again, this was not a sponsored review. I did buy this with my own money, so this is my completely unbiased review. I'm not trying to be nice or anything. This thing's great. I love it. So um, be sure to go to their website. I'll put it here somewhere, and I'll also put it down in the box as well for you guys to check this out. It's freaking amazing. I love it. Get one. It's definitely worth the investment. Your eyebrows will thank you. Your skin will thank you. You won't have to use as much soap. Oh, and my skin feels great. Like, my skin feels clean and smooth, and it doesn't feel irritated or anything. Get the makeup bracer, you guys. It's definitely worth the investment. I love it. Also, be sure to check out bobbypins.com. Of course, got to plug my own business, where I have a great selection of beautiful synthetic lace front wigs. I also have a wide array of professional styling products, such as brushes, combs, rollers, end papers, pearl head pins, canvas blocks, stands, etc., to help you get your wig projects done right. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys very soon for another fun video. Thanks. Bye.